time for Tip Rat Racing. <laughs> another episode of Tip Rat Racing, where in this episode I'm going to show you where we've actually done something to Tip Rat, um, where we've braced his diff, and you'll get to see that in a sec anyway. Uh, failing that, I'm pretty sure it's the Girls Only 4x4 Club that was out bush last weekend with us at the Powerline Tracks, so I've got some more footage of them, an awesome GU, pretty nice fast out converted Hilux, um, and a couple of other just good, good cars all around. So uh, hang in there guys, see what you think, and uh, we'll talk soon. It was fair to say, um, old Reddle's got a bit tight and he's getting a bit nasty. Yeah, yeah. Keep it going. Keep going. Okay, what have we got here? The Mighty Patrol. Look at that suspension, mate. That's beautiful. That's the easy way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> In the month we've had off, uh, there's something else we worked on. Um, we finally got that all pulled out. Um, I'll show you a bit of a uh, collage, is it, or a montage? I'm not quite sure on all these terms. But uh, we've put the Roadrunner off-road brace kit on it. Um, put new radius arm bushes in there, top and bottom. Uh, the drop boxes have been added in. Uh, swivel up kits, kingpin bearings, all brand new. Basically, if you can replace it, uh, we replaced it, failing the pinion and crown gear, that all seemed to check out, and the bearings internally in the diff. But uh, we're pulling that out, we're sticking just a lunchbox auto locker from Lockright, uh, stick that in, and just letting you know, tip rat is actually something happening. Uh, but we haven't really been spending a hell of a lot of time on him as such. We've been mainly concentrating on getting Leo going and getting my tridy going, which is all of a sudden developed a lovely water leak. So in the middle of winter, uh, it smells like a swamp in there. So I've got to sort that out. I can't spend any time in a car that smells like a swamp. All right, guys, you know I told you Leo Wen could come back from the weekend unscathed? Well, basically, after we left the uh, Perth Girls Only 4x4 Club, me and Callum, as you've seen uh, from the last episode, took off, and then all of a sudden, someone says this. One more jump. Good luck, you know. 
And then dickhead me goes, yeah, great idea. <laughs> and then, this is what happens. That's all kinked in here. The reason being for is this side was written off in the accident. Um, that's why we don't have a wheel arch. This is all just plate, like three mil aluminium. It's not even three mil, it's about one, 1 1.6 mil I'd say, if I had to have a guess. It's absolutely thin as anything. When you look at the other side, it's all solid. You can hear how solid it is. Chassis with a cab chassis mount up in this front end, which in turn stops the nose from dropping down. And if you have a look at this side, you can see how it flexes. And so what's happened is the weight of the nose has come down, has bowed all this, and in turn popped all the pop rivets out. I am the first to admit they weren't the strongest pop rivets, and I'm the first to admit they're going to be a lot bloody stronger next time. Uh, so, yeah, that's that in a nutshell. So we've got a little bit of work to straighten that up. Not really much. I just put a, uh, a cab chassis mount on this side. I've never even thought of it. Snuck up and got us. Uh, failing that, always a big shout out to old Greg Huggins from Metspark. The guys are awesome up there. Nothing they can't do. Um, failing that, like and subscribe. This video is a nice short one, so you should be able to watch it. And it uh, shouldn't be too painful, guys. But as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.